shout at me. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Welcome to Van Life Pembrokeshire. We're Liam and Janine, a couple travel in the UK in our converted Ford Transit camper van called Frida. We are on a mission to experience the best of the UK's locations and plant-based food on this epic tour. And in this episode, we woke up on a very wild beach with giant jellyfish, we eat some vegan Welsh cakes near Britain's smallest city, and we meet up with friends for a bit of wild camping. So buckle up and subscribe as we discover this place together. Morning. Morning everyone, so we have woken up in a place called Newgale which is the north of the Pembrokeshire coast. Um, so we're not in Rosilly anymore, we moved on from there because some bad weather came and we're trying to avoid it and this place here is the place that was the best weather really in the in the south of Wales or we believe it is. We are right on the other side of the road to this most amazing beach. It's absolutely gorgeous. We went for a walk yesterday to the neighbouring beach and we were the only ones on there and we sat there, the sun came out and we just chilled and then the tide started coming in so we left but yeah it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, we're going to take you down there now and just show you the beach before we get on this trip and what are we doing today? Yeah, so we're on the north bit of, we believe we're on the north bit of Pembrokeshire so as we came here to escape the bad weather, now we're here, we thought we might as well do a, um, a road trip going south through Pembrokeshire so, uh, so that's what the next, this video and the next video, maybe the video after that is going to be is van life in Pembrokeshire where we're staying right now is a bit cheeky, is a car park next to a campsite. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but it's also next to a pub, so we're in a pub car park so called the Duke of Edinburgh. So if you want to look it up, that's where we are. Anyway, let's go and do it. Let's go and show them the beach. And then um, there's somewhere that does vegan Welsh cakes that's just a few kilometres away. And I'm, I'm just thinking that'll just be the most perfect brunch breakfast. <laughs> So off we went across the road to go and walk around this amazing beach. New Girl Beach is an absolutely humongous sandy beach which is two miles long. It has a huge pebble bank at the back so when you're on the roadside you can't see the beach but when you climb the mound you can see actually how vast it is. Okay this is New Gale Beach, it is absolutely massive. The best thing about the Pembrokeshire beaches, I think, is because they're sandy. And because they're protected, it's really clean as well. It's a very windy day. There's some people trying to have a stab at surfing. It's not the day for surfing today. But it's got beautiful coastal walks. Uh, it's got pubs and cafes and stuff, a surf shop. Um, so yeah, it's got something for everyone. But today may be just a little bit too windy for surfing. It's also got the biggest jellyfish I've ever seen in England. They are absolutely huge. There's only little ones here today, but yesterday I saw one the size of two balloons put together. It was massive. Starting to get a little bit hungry now, so we're heading back to the van um, and hopefully we're going to try and find these Welsh cakes. So we left this gorgeous rustic beach in search of some vegan Welsh cakes. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hungry are you? Oh, do you know what? I'm, I feel like I've got a bloody tapeworm. Um, I'm, a, I'm about an eight and a half, nine. Really? Yeah. I'm so hungry. I'm probably about the same without the tapeworm. Without the tapeworm? Well, I haven't just, got a tapeworm. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just hungry because it's, it's half 11 in the morning and we've not eaten. After about 10 minutes, we arrived in the most idyllic, picturesque little village called Solva. Solva is a quaint little village with a few shops, cafes, a pub and a harbour. There are some walking trails around the area too. We parked up in their small car park and headed off to explore. Vegan Welsh cakes and coffee! I have absolutely no idea what a Welsh cake is as well, so this is such a surprise. I am so excited. <laughs> Look, they named the pub after me. What, no brains? No brains. 
There's a no-brainer around the corner for you. We went on our mission to find some vegan Welsh cakes and headed for Mangu, a cute little cafe offering a variation of sweet and savoury Welsh cakes. We're checking the vegan Welsh cake scenario. Going on. Okay, so we're in Mam Mangu Welsh cakes uh, because we hear they do vegan Welsh cakes, and she's just confirmed to me they do vegan cheese and leek Welsh cakes, which is um, you can't get much more Welsh than that. Um, so. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. We're sat outside, it's not raining, it's not windy, it's really, really happy and exciting times. We've got vegan leek and cheese, we have vegan traditional, we've got vegan dark chocolate and orange, dark chocolate and ginger, um, and we also have vegan creme fogs that you can order. Vegan what? Creme fogs, pancakes. Oh right. That's our list of everything we have. We're going to go to town then. Just come yeah. and tell us what you want. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Really well, she's just come out again and explained to us that they actually do these most amazing vegan breakfasts and um, so we're thinking about getting a breakfast and maybe some Welsh cakes to take away so we get literally everything on the menu um, so I think we're gonna do that. We sat and ate our amazing breakfasts. Liam got the full English with vegan halloumi and I got the leek and cheese Welsh cakes with cheese and beans and they were both delicious. Well that was awesome got a nice box to take away but they're savoury food it's just so nice to come across a cafe that just has so many vegan options, they're so vegan friendly, and they've got all of these amazing Welsh cakes. It's just, what an experience. It's an experience more than anything. We walked back to the van eating our chocolate Welsh cakes, then headed on our way to the next location. So we did say that we were gonna go south, but just for the time being, we're going a little bit further north, just so we don't um, sort of miss anything. There's a place called St. David's, just north of here. Um, so we're gonna go there, check that out, and then we're gonna start going south. All right, we're in St. David's now, uh, which is north of where we just were, and we just found out it's Britain's smallest city. So this is what Britain's smallest city looks like. We just walked from one end of the city to the other in about two minutes, and I really don't mind cities when they're this small. This is my sort of city. We continued wandering around the tiny city and stumbled across this beautiful cathedral where everyone seemed to be chilling out on the lawns and surrounding grounds, so we decided to do the same. Okay, so this is a really nice area actually, it's a really nice city. If you're coming past, it was a nice surprise for us because we didn't know we were even going to be coming here. Um, but now we're going to leave, we've seen the cathedral, so now we're going to go to our next place. Where's our next place, Janine? And I have no idea where that is, <laughs> that's why I walked off. <laughs> okay, well the next place may as well be the supermarket to pick up some salad bits and some granola. So that's the food shop done. Now we are heading south. So we're going south for the first time today. Um, hopefully we make it a bit further than we've made it today. <laughs> so we headed for the south, leaving Britain's smallest city, heading through the cute village with the vegan Welsh cakes and past the rustic beach with the giant jellyfish to begin our coastal trip of the south. We parked up for a cup of tea and to check the map. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Good tea. It's all right, yeah. <laughs> I did the job. <sighs> What's happening, Jane? <Jeanine? laughs> We're heading north. <laughs> On this trip, you get to see me and Liam change our minds regularly. So now we're packing up the van again after our tea and we're going up north and we'll explain why shortly in case you hadn't have already guessed because we made a mistake so let's go well. okay so we are going back up the coast again 
<laughs> um, the reason why is because, uh, two reasons, we've got two big reasons why we're heading back up the coast north. One of them is my terrible geography. Uh, I thought that where we were, that St. David's city was the very top of the Pembroke Close, but it wasn't. It was halfway down it. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the north bit first. So I've just looked at a map and there's like Cardigan Bay and all the rest of it. And then after we've done the north bit, we're gonna come back down and do the south bit. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, the second reason why we're heading back up the north coast is because uh, we've got a friend um, who's uh, in a camper van from back home in Brighton um, and she's coming out with her new partner um, to come out and see us. The weather's a bit precarious. Because the weather's precarious, we thought we'd best do another sort of almost pub park up. Um, so what we found, and we think we found, it's her fingers crossed, is a, a car park that you can stay in overnight, which is opposite a pub which sounds perfect. So that's where we're heading now. So off we go again, heading north. We go back past the beach with the giant jellyfish, again through the village with the awesome Welsh cakes, back through the smallest city in Britain and headed for a beautiful little harbour town called Porth Gain. That's three spaces that Liam has been undecided on. <laughs> take the mick out of him now. Will this space do you? <laughs> Are you happy with this space, madam? That was three spaces that you couldn't choose. <laughs> I'm even thinking over there on my bank would do Oh it. my god, you can't do another one. So I have just been into the pub. Um, one to check their wi-fi and two to see if we can stay here overnight which apparently we can he said um i don't see why not so that's a thumbs up for me um and as i came back i heard this really random noise in the distance and me and liam think that there may be a seal in over by the sea because it sounds like a seal going i'm not going to do this out oh, oh. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> jump so much <laughs> yeah doing that noise I'm not gonna do it Liam's good at doing things like that um, but we're gonna go and check now to see what it is if it is a seal which I think it is it must be massive because it's really loud I wonder if you can hear it I'll try and catch it not catch the seal but capture the sound there's the seal. It's either a very, very old dog or um, or, a, <laughs> or a sea lion. Oh, I'm calling it a seal. That's the same thing, right? I'm not sure. Oh. I think we're gonna have to Google that now. You, yeah, we're gonna have to Google that one. But let's go and look and see if we can see it anyway. Found some public toilets just over the road from where we are staying, which is good for staying the night here. Literally no seal to be seen or sea lion or whatever it was. Nothing. And the sound stopped as well. I'd be gutted if we missed a sea lion. But how beautiful is it? Like check this out. I haven't got a clue what it is, but it's absolutely stunning. So I think we're gonna go up here um to the coastal path turn left and then back down and i think it comes out where we sort of came into the car park but we're gonna give it a go anyway we don't really know despite its many flaws it could be one of those save my life okay so this is the town i think it's called port hague port hague or port hague um and it's this tiny little town here little village um with this beautiful harbour uh, behind us. Um, it's got a central pub in it. I'll tell you what, when we arrived, it looked like it was sort of like really buzzing sort of place. It's got a little restaurant there as well. Um, <clears throat> it's got a car park that seems to be free to park in and no restrictions on parking overnight. Um, so yeah, it seems like a really good location 
for doing a bit of uh, van lifing. Um, and that's why we, and, and actually I'm really pleased that we came here to meet our friend as well, because as the weather is a bit ominous, it's sort of said it was gonna rain all day, but it actually hasn't rained at all yet, which is amazing. Um, then, but if it were to rain, then at least we've got somewhere uh, inside where we can go and have a pint and uh, catch up and stuff and it's not a complete washout. So I'm really pleased that we came here. Okay, so we've made it to the top. We were actually gonna go along the top of the ridge of those houses um, and back down through the car park, but the trail leads off in completely the other direction. And I think if we carry on going, we're gonna be walking for miles. So we're gonna head back to the van and our friend should be here shortly. So we're gonna be there to greet her when she arrives. So let's go. So we're back at the van now. We're waiting for our friends to get here. We think it's gonna be about an hour. So we're just gonna chill for an hour. Um, I'm gonna empty the, um, the shopping bags that we got earlier because we just kind of came in and sort of threw them in. We didn't put anything in the fridge. And that was a few hours ago now. So I think it's about time it goes in the fridge. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna chill and wait for them. We chilled for about an hour and emptied our shopping before our friends turned up and we all went off to the pub for the evening to catch up. Cheers guys! Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. We had such a great time catching up with them, playing some pool and listening to some tunes on the jukebox. We played some absolute classics, Dire Straits for example, before hitting the sack for the evening. Lay your head on my chest This is where we're going to end this video. We've had such an amazing time on the Pembrokeshire coast. Um, we are going to stop here for maybe a couple of nights and then pick it up again when we move on. Yeah, so we're gonna go, so where we are now, we're gonna go north and keep going on the Pembrokeshire coast. The next time you see us, we'll be on the road again. See you next time. Purple Paul is not the man, it's the vehicle. This is Vic and this is his vehicle. This is his van. And uh, yeah, have, have a look around. Hello. Hello. Um, Welcome to Purple Pool. Now, we have a fridge. The most important part of any vehicle is the fridge and the oh, fridge. Yeah, we got the same fridge. Oh, no. 
Oh, no, no, yeah. we've got to recall the light in the house. Everything falls out of us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've got the blue light. Yeah, we Obviously, want the blue light. The blue light's good. It's, yeah. it's, it's, I feel like we're missing out not having the blue light in our house. Do you? Even though it's the same fridge. Yeah. Um, yes. Now, uh, one thing I need to point out that everything in this van is purple. purple. Oh, wow. The attention to detail. Amazing. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, the seat the back got damaged, so I've got a bag on the back of the seat that happens to be purple. purple. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you really pushed and you want to watch telly, oh wow, look at that! You can oh, watch wow, telly amazing. in the back. <laughs> so on the switches over here, we've got the we've got switches over here for lights and for the pump for the for the sink. Which just happens to contain some mosas. Oh, nice. don't get... These have come all the way from Birmingham. <laughs> Always goes to food, doesn't it? Lovely. Look at those things. Those things look now <laughs> awesome. The hob. Oh, we could have we could have some lights on. No, it's going to completely change. Perfect. Your... Are you ready? Yep. Uh, no, still wrong light. Ta -da. Very yeah. swish. Wow, it looks swanky. Um, it's disco. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to go disco? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> and there comes extra. <laughs> so, yeah. And the bed, what sort of bed is it? So you want to go rock and roll? Yeah. She wants to go rock and roll. Already, <laughs> that didn't take long, we've only just met. Um, <laughs> so, exhibit A. Wow. Oh, exhibit B. Oh, two. brilliant! Oh, wow. I've and never seen these before. That's amazing. That was actually pretty quick. That was really quick. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's actually it's a four berth street speed. When you pop the top, I've got another. Oh, so you can get in there. Yeah. Oh wow. You can, two, you can get two up there if oh, you want to. Oh, awesome. No but way. I've got 45 mil of memory foam. Yeah. So I take that off there and put that on top. Oh, of here. cool. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Is it back amazing. up again? It's it's really good that it just comes down so so easily. It is. Here, so as a rear passenger, you can have a head rest and just have a sleep, <laughs> get the relaxing. What happens though is you can be in the back here and you can just sit, pop the telly down, and just watch telly. Oh, nice! Yes. That's nice, isn't it? That's when a great it's like setup. a rainy day, and that's a really good setup. Oh, DVDs as well. Yeah, I saw that. I was thinking that's incredible.